And I want to say a massive thank you to everything that you've already done uh, to help get more Greens elected to the City Council this year. Everything you've done in previous local elections to get our six Green councillors elected so far and everything you're going to be doing over the next six weeks to help turn Oxford green. So I said six weeks. There are now less than six weeks to go until polling day. Uh, that slightly terrifies me, uh, knowing there's just six weeks to make the case to voters all across the city that we need a change, that we need Greens, and that we need a fairer and greener Oxford. When I was first elected in 2021, there were just three Green councillors on the City Council. In the 2022 local elections, thanks to work that you did and many other Greens like you, we doubled our number of seats on the Council. There are now six of us. But this year, we're campaigning really, really, really hard to make that 10 Green Councils on the City Council. Do you think we can do it? Yes. There's going to be a lot of panto, so do you think we can do it? Yes. That's the enthusiasm I want from all of you. Um, if we're successful, it means we'll have more seats on the City Council than we have ever had before. It means more Greens holding Labour and the City Council to account and challenging its decisions. It means more Greens on key committees that make the big decisions that affect our city. And it means more Greens making the case for social and environmental justice. Imagine what we could do with 10 Greens on the City Council. With the small number of Greens we currently have, we've already stopped the Labour Party from cutting the council tax reduction scheme, putting money back into the pockets of some of the poorest residents in our city. We've secured better protections for biodiversity in the local plan. We've led the way on tackling period poverty, being one of the only councils in the country that provides free period products in its uh, community centres. We've pushed the council to be begin monitoring and taking proper action on its LGBT pay gap. We've got the, ca the council to publicly campaign for rent controls so that tenants in our city, which make up almost a third of residents here in Oxford, one of the highest in the country, can have better protection. We've consulted with hundreds of residents, literally hundreds on the traffic plans uh, for the city, including the low traffic neighbourhoods. I don't think there's a single candidate or council in this room who is in sick to death with the letters L, T and N, but we've been continuing to have conversation with residents, addressing their concerns and making sure we can have a city that works for cyclists, that works for pedestrians um, and that works for everyone. We got the city council to call for a ceasefire in Gaza and to lobby our MPs to do the same thing. That's really, really important and there are very few councillors councils in the country that have been doing this and just last week at the full council meeting we were honoured to hear from the Palestinian ambassadors of the UK who thanked us for the work we did in speaking out um, on the ongoing crisis in Gaza. We, we delivered a ban on single-use plastics for the city street traders long before the government introduced one and much much more. Now that is just with six of us. Imagine what we could do if there were ten. Imagine if we took the money that the council is currently investing in speculative commercial property and started investing it in renewable energy in Oxfordshire, getting bills down for residents and helping to tackle the climate emergency. Imagine if we raised the Oxford living wage to make it a genuine living wage and match what Londoners get. Imagine if we had a council-run hardship fund so that people can have the alleviation they need from the cost of living crisis. Imagine if we had a council-backed letting agency that offered fair rents and secure tenancies for renters. Imagine if we made our roads safer for cyclists and pedestrians so that we don't have to hear constant news stories of fatal accidents on our roads for cyclists. Imagine if we had a council that took the ecological and climate emergencies seriously and took real action to cut carbon and protect nature. That's the kind of city we can build with more Greens on the council together and crucially it's the kind of city we can build with all of your help. You, every single one of you in this room are the people that will make that happen. So thank you all for coming today and for helping us achieve that. On the Oxford Green Party website now, we've just published our manifesto for the 2024 local elections, so you can read more about what our councillors will be pushing for.